I think every single human being on this planet should recognize their connection to the ocean because we depend on the ocean to survive. It controls the climate, it provides food for a billion people, and science, technology, engineering, and math, all of these concepts are really just explaining what's already happening in nature. Nature has all of the answers, we just have to find out what they are. I'm Danny Washington, I'm an ocean advocate, science communicator, and lover of life. At six years old, I told my mom, I looked her in the eyes and I said, Mom, I want to be a marine biologist. I had a crazy dream, and that dream was to become a marine biologist. Yes, this Jamaican-American girl from Miami, yeah, I wanted to be a marine biologist. It was a total mystery, but yet it seemed like an adventure that I needed to have. And from the moment I learned what that was, that was it. I was sold. This started back in 2008 when I was first hired by a group called Untamed Science. And we made 200 videos all about K-12 science for textbooks that are still in classrooms today. I found Danny on YouTube. Uh, we were looking for a host for a new science show that I was developing. And after scouring for weeks and weeks, I don't know how, but I came across her video and she was just magic the moment that I found her. I understood that I had an, a niche to fill. I saw that there was an empty space really for science communication. I wouldn't say that I'm a traditional marine biologist. What it boiled down to was that I needed to communicate. I wanted to do outreach, but in a different way. So those ideas kind of culminated. I started a nonprofit with my mom called Big Blue and You. And over the last nine years, we've used Big Blue and You as a platform to give young kids the opportunity to meet the ocean and to fall in love with the ocean using art as a medium. Now I'm hosting a show on Fox called Exploration Nature Knows Best, which I'm so excited about because it's all about innovation and tech that's inspired by nature. This is one of the reasons why science is so cool. Welcome back to Nature Knows Best. With just a little bit of help from nature, we can easily improve some of our favorite physical activities. It's more of a creative path where I've found ways to communicate that science that these marine biologists are collecting and transferring that in, into a way that the general public can understand, especially young people, and giving them this intersection where any, any science concept can be explained in a fun and engaging way, that's my job. You see the spark and they're like, whoa, what is this? How did I not know about this? That moment of wonder and awe is what I live for. Whether it's studying science, technology, engineering, and math, all of these concepts are really just explaining what's already happening in nature. If we took more notes from the natural world around us, we would be in a better place. STEM needs everyone, and everyone needs STEM. I think science, technology, engineering, and math can only be pushed further by including influences from people who bring a new perspective to the table. We never want to put a pair of glasses on someone and call them a scientist. We think scientists come in all shapes, sizes, ages, races, and we just want to make sure they're all represented in our programs to the extent that it's possible. Diversity in STEM is extremely important because as a human race, we have such a broad pool of knowledge. And you need to bring in people who think differently. And in order to do that, you have to include everyone who hasn't always been in those circles. And that's how we'll move forward. That's how we'll push boundaries. That's how we'll innovate.